Hello, my name is Elizabeth, and I will be speaking to you about body language in the workplace. No matter how hard you try to get respect in your workplace, serious unprofessional body language can send the wrong message and throw all your hard work out the window. In fact, in face-to-face -face communication, research shows your words account for 7% of your interaction. 38% 38% is in your tone of voice and 55% is your nonverbal cues or body language. Tip number one, keep your facial expressions in check. Facial expressions speak louder than words. If you are engaging in a conversation, but your facial expression is bored, angry, confused, it is noticeable. Don't be rude. Make sure your face is expressing a degree of professionalism. Don't be someone you're not, but make sure you understand the delicate balance between work and emotion. Walk with confidence. Pick up your feet when you walk. Don't shuffle or stomp. Make sure your shoes fit. Stand tall when you walk with your hands on your side. If you are about to walk into a room with lots of strangers or to give a speech, practice your power posing in the restroom or in an empty room. Number three, eye contact is key. Maintaining eye contact makes you look trustworthy, likable, and powerful. When you're in a conversation, be careful to also pay attention to what is being said. Don't stare, engage. Also look from one eye to another and keep from turning your eye contact into something creepy. And make sure you look back and forth slowly so the person you are talking to doesn't notice. Most importantly, look away occasionally and you will make the or you will make the other person feel uncomfortable. Number four, practice your handshake. It should be firm and steady. Handshake should only last between two to five seconds. And don't forget to engage in eye contact. If you are meeting someone for the first time, be sure to repeat their name or use another memory trick so you don't forget it. Keep good posture. When you're in a meeting, pretend you're constantly in a Pilates class. If you don't know what that means, it means to keep your crown on your head straight up and your shoulders square. Slouching sends the wrong impression and a lowered head gives the impression that you are not telling the truth or that you are ashamed. Keep your body upright to show you are listening and have confidence in the interaction. Don't cross your arms. Use open body language when you are engaging with someone professionally. Keep your body turned towards the person you are talking to and expose your torso. Crossing your arms shows weakness and nervousness. If you lack confidence in your body, don't let it show. You can use your hands to talk, but don't overdo it. This can be distracting and also show nervousness. Quit fidgeting. I have long hair and I constantly touch it. Why do I touch my hair so much? Honestly, because I'm always worried about how it looks. I've been working on it slowly but surely. Experts agree that playing with your hair, biting your nails, or playing with the jewelry shows you are embarrassed about your appearance or nervous about the interaction. So stop. No one is going to notice your appearance unless you point it out. So remember, keep your facial expressions in check, walk with confidence, Remember that eye contact is key. Practice your handshake. Keep good posture. 
don't cross your arms and quit fidgeting. Please remember these tips next time you go on a job interview or are meeting someone for the first time. And remember, body language speaks louder than words.